What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius. Today we have Kaiju number eight, episode seven and eight. Check out that Patreon for early access on the full uncut versions. Check out the Twitch if you guys want to watch these live with us before we even post them to Patreon. We're not going to waste any more time. Let's hop right into today's episodes. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, okay, here we go. Episode seven. <laughs> I do love his work, but he's trying to find him, you know? Uh oh. Right where we left off. Is he going to try to be undercover or is he just not going to care and go? That answers my question. He did the same thing to Shinomiya. Him transforming is so weird. Yes, I like that. Immediately calling it out, but his comms are jammed, of course. He probably has some electromagnetism. Wow. Good dodge, even though it still hit him. Oh my god! What is he shooting? Bones? And he's shooting back. Okay, Ichikawa. Oh, he's a W man. It's it's not about that. It's about it literally getting this thing to get taken down, bud. It's not about this rivalry anymore. Come on. This is the most serious you've seen Ichikawa, and he's usually a very serious guy, you know. Now you just have to survive. That you're W man's for putting yourself as a set, you know, target. Right? That's a good way to put it. Shinomiya couldn't do this. He thinks of Kafka. He did exactly what Kafka did. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. He's running right past you. Use that as motivation, my mans. I need you to go even beyond that. He came back. Oh, that's L, but also W man's. I do want them to get help, but he just saved Ichikawa's life. It's feeling weak. Ooh. Okay, he's getting a little Kirishima vibes from me, you know? And I love Kirishima. He's like, you go get help, I'll stay here. He really can just grow extra arms like that. That's crazy. Okay. Iharu Ichikawa versus this random kaiju. He's got the electric static bullets. Ooh, I love how they're adapting. They're learning. Look at that determination in his eyes. I can't tell if he's destroying him or if the kaiju was shoot. What the hell? He was actually fearful for a second. He needed to go on the defensive. Oh, wow. I'm praying Kafka can come save the day or something. Ishikawa was one of my favorite characters. All communications. That should be a, a sign. And the fact that you saw the dead spring back to life for a second. Come on, Kafka. I do love how the suits don't heal the wounds. They do stop the bleeding, though. That is very handy. But my man is pummeled. I do love that. I won't let it end here for him. Man, W try though. Kami sama, he's asking God or a demon. It don't matter. Someone, any sentient, omniscient power. Oh, he even said Ichikawa, not even himself. That's such, such a W man's. You're growing on me, Iharu. 
Kafka, please. I love the music. W Kafka. He knocked his fucking head off. Is there any sort of healing capabilities that Kafka might have? I know the other kaiju has random abilities, maybe. I love how he caved his teeth in saying his name. I love the, I love the shout. But they can survive even with their head straight off. Oh. Okay. My man can scream, deflect these bullets. <laughs> Left, right, good night. Okay, Kafka. Man is trying to calculate. Temper. He's such like a robot. Oh, I love how he can stabilize himself and use a rocket propulsion. That was an anime punch right there, straight through 46 buildings. There's his core. Uh-oh. This is worst case scenario. I wonder what they're going to think about a kaiju fighting a kaiju. This is on some attack on Titan shit. Damn. That, damn. Gave him the opportunity. I don't like that. He learned and now he's going to retreat and he's going to use them because he knows Kafka is going to want to save them. So he can use that opportunity to dip. He can use that to his advantage. He can just wither away. They're saved, which is very great job, Kafka. W man's. He's about to say Hoshina. <laughs> Even Ichikawa on the ambulance fucking thing bed is like, oh no. And Hoshina thinks it was Kafka who did that to Ichikawa, yeah. Oh my god, I love that shot. Oh my god, that was clean. Remove limiter? All right, Rock Lee. <laughs> Thank the Lord I'm watching one more episode. Oh, Lord. All right, this is episode eight. Welcome to the Defense Force. What do you do in a situation? I love how fast they're going down the street. Holy shit. Now you get to see a vice captain. Oh my God. Let alone a fucking captain. You can even see his core. You can, he feels like he's not trying. Which is weird for a kaiju. Kaijus would always try to kill you with everything they have, right? Come on, Hoshina. Get a little deeper, my friend. Man's got the projectile slashes. Oh my god. Mist Slasher is a dope-ass name. 
He can make like a mouth in whatever body part he wants to stop that. I do love the adaptability from Kafka. Not even going for the attack on Hoshina. Let's break his weapon. Smart. Are we gone? Do we dip? Good. Let's not continue this fight. Even though I love that. Let's not continue this. Kaiju number nine and Kaiju number eight both got out. Oh, that was crazy. That was a crazy first mission. I wonder if he's going to mention the fact that it felt like Kafka wasn't fighting back. Five years. What I'm saying. <laughs> Oshina's very smart. Eventually, he most certainly is going to put it together. I would hate for Mina to fight Kafka. Oh, no. That's huge news, yeah. They found it in human blending in form. They would never know of a, of a kaiju being able to turn into a human. Buddy went literal titan form on him. Like, what, what the f*** was that? And he can change forms if he eats them? We're glad you're okay, Ishikawa. I'm saying. Come on, my man. now he oh yeah that was huge help no that was great yeah w save shinomiya w save i love how ihara is like impressed by him you know <laughs> ihara is growing on me man he could be a part of the crew i like him join up Nah, Loki, the side characters and the main character of the show are so relatable, so funny, so kind. Like, I love so many characters in the show. And they even made him a congratulations, Kay, for leaving the hospital. Ain't no one done that for me. I need some people like this. You know that's some pristine A6. That's gotta be some unheard of governmental experiment shit. A6? There's not. What? I did not know that. I did not know that. And we know Shinomiya is wealthy. That's crazy. A6. That's crazy. This is how... This reminds me so much of the scouts early on in AOT. Anytime they'd have a good time or a celebration, people start beefing, then other people start beefing. I get a lot of AOT vibes from the show in a good way, in a great way. What's going on with his dad? Since then, I need that flashback. This episode is called Welcome to the Defense Force, and Kafka did a great job last fight, both knowing and unknowing. Hell yeah, he did. <laughs> After being the cleanup crew for so many years... My man finally made it. I'd be there drinking, celebrating with him. Kanpai! Kanpai! I've always wanted a victory toss, man. That's a, that's a good soldier right there. That's why uh, a real soldier fights, you know? 
But people that love what they love can keep loving what they love. She knows his end game. We did talk big, you know. Come on. Come on. The smallest of grins. The small. <laughs> Not again. Not again. <laughs> With the light on? That's a little eerie. This late at night? What's going on? Is Hoshina upset that he let Ka Kaiju number eight go so he's having some crazy late night training? Oh, my man, Hoshina is nice. He's picturing fighting you. Improving on what he can improve on. Strength. Oh, that's your neck, buddy. I'm not going to lie. If I was Hoshina, just to make sure, I'd be asking everyone. I'd be calling everyone Kaiju number eight. Hey, yo, Kaiju number eight. Just making sure they don't respond, you know. I respect it. He knows if he can't stop these people, there's literally like three other people in the world who can. So, <laughs> gotta take it seriously. Yeah. He's tapping immediately. Oh. That's funny, but I like that response. I don't expect a lot from a one percenter. But you can have one percent of my expectations. That's more than nothing. Ooh, eerie pan out. Where are we going this high up? What is going on? Oh, hell no. All right, not gonna lie. Those episodes were fantastic. I am loving so many of the characters. Iharu really grew on me. Izumo starting to grow on me. I'm really curious about, um, what's his name? Aoi, the guy who's not nosy, but also super strong and wants to protect the people. Hoshina's growing on me. I like Mina. Like there's a lot of low key, really good characters in this. Great animation. Great details and world building, like obviously Kaiju's in and of itself and the world building behind that is such a mystery box that it gives me Attack on Titan vibes where I would love to learn the lore as to what's causing this, what can we do to fix this, where we go next from this, but also the lore integrating the Kaiju mysteriness with us developing technologies around them, um, learning how to combat them, still not even understanding how they work. Like, I love how it's like Attack on Titan. They're in the same realm that we are. They have really no idea what's going on either. But this whole bird kaiju descent that's about to happen, is there like an Akatsuki of kaiju? Is there a leader of the sentient kaiju? What is going on with these damn kaiju? But like I said, I'm loving the show. The fighting, animation, music, everything is fantastic. Not a single piece of it is lackluster hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below check out that patreon for early access full length check out the twitch to watch these live before we can post on the patreon i appreciate y'all don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day after squad peace out